Good morning and welcome to Gulf Street Park on this beautiful Belmont Stakes Day. It's uh, sunny and toasty outside. We have a uh, fast track, I believe, today. No more extra rain in the no. evening, which is nice. I think it's good. Yeah, and it does dry out quick, so even if there was, it, yeah. it's, uh, it's warm today. And uh, we're starting the second day anew in the, the Rainbow yeah. Six. Yeah. So about $18,000 in the carryover. I would think, you know, it's a big, big day, as yeah. Samantha mentioned. Belmont Stakes Day, Silks was open early. A lot of people were here. So on our 12 race card, that rainbow is going to get going a little bit later. Race number seven. And I would think we're going to get over comfortably over a hundred thousand yeah. dollars pool should be very very healthy today so uh get involved a couple stakes today as well lots yeah. to look forward to it is yep we've got 12 races and uh, early pick five starts with race number one and as always brian has so graciously put together a ticket a nice hit yesterday with yeah, your, your ticket, ticket yeah Thank yep you. some some good winners and uh yeah he this guy hit the early pick five so let's see if he can do it back to back yeah, so I spun this around. I, I sent this in very early, and I was expecting a scratch or two. And, of course, all this pertinent scratches were later in the card. So, you know what? I'm playing this ticket. It's Samantha said it. I said it's Belmont Stakes Day. Let's build a bankroll. We've got a big card here as well. So this is an $80 ticket. It's it's more than I played. I'll take the winnings from yesterday and run it back, right? We exactly, can do that. Yeah. Uh, we'll get to this opener, which includes my long shot. Four deep in race two, the two-year-old race. We'll get some opinions from Samantha on that when we can see him front and center as well in race number five in race number three the five the best bet of the day is honor to lady that's why i can single you know and spread as well and then majestic drama in race number five it was an 80 dollars ticket and uh we'll roll with it yeah might as well and I, I like it it's it's good to play tickets like that on a day like today especially there'll be a lot of money in the pools and kicking off everything it's a maiden 12 thousand five hundred dollars event five and a half furlongs on the tapita track here and a uh, bit different in uh, in our our picks here but lang lang we've got a replay yeah. of this horse's uh debut this is my long shot and i'm stabbing here it's a it's a stab kind of race so we'll see what we get from lang lang here but you know that you see the break right off the bat she, she's behind the eight ball breaks last but you know she, she broke so she lost several races and i thought the other thing too now this is dave braddy he's not a barn she's in the middle you're going to see her get a little, little whacked around a little rank here and this is not samantha uh, you know a, a super high percentage barn and this is not a barn that is typically going to take a lot of money. I know it was just a six-horse field. This horse was two to one that day. Yeah, which was really surprising to Very me. Very surprising. In for a quarter. Yeah. And now we're in for 12-5. We've got that. She certainly got some experience out does, of the way. Yeah. And we say this a lot when we're looking for long shots. It's not only your horse. Yeah. It's the rest of them. Exactly. Uh, I don't really trust the rest of them. No, and, and she drew the rail, like you said. That's it, it's always a tough Post to, yeah. to kind of have uh, Exaggeradora, Exaggeradora. I, I know I'm butchering that. It's in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's a semi habit. The last three drills on the tapita for this gal have been incredible. Now, we haven't seen her since the end of November. Right. But Lasix goes on, and Dave Fox, he's kind of firing right now. We like Dave and the yeah. job he does. And, and when we first instilled the tapita, uh, installed, instilled down, down in here, um, Dave was always uh, yep. on the beam and right uh, ahead of the curve. So uh, anytime he's on the tapita, I always kind of give him a, a second look. And this horse has Lasix yep. as well. She's still got upside. And you said it perfectly. I mean, she did not run an inch no. in her last two starts on dirt. But you look at the three tapita drills, they were okay. Yeah, they really were. And you, you'll just have to excuse her for that. Uh, Beer Bali, another one. Uh, you know, I originally liked this Philly Brian, but Hustle Queen was kind of not that great last time, yeah. and that worried me with her coming into this. I'm with you, and my, my note on her was that she was loose and controlling yeah. early, and when you're loose and controlling going five on the Tapita, you're supposed to see it out a little bit better, and uh, so I, I'm not going to not use her. Yeah. Jimmy, Gull Jimmy Gulick is, does a tremendous job yeah. sprinting on the Tapita. Ugh little further down in my mix <laughs> race number two it kicks off the early pick four i put a ticket together here we'll go ahead and take a look at it and uh i tailed off of brian's pick five yesterday and was able to get it done now yeah. race number two uh, it's a single shards for me it's my best bet race number three the five is my top pick that's earth 
And race number four, this is our first uh, feature race of the day. We have co-stake races. Starship Aurora has just been so great as of late. I, I like this horse a lot today. And in race number five, a bit of a spread for me. I think it's a very problematic race, but the eight, Oh, no, not the eight. I wonder why I didn't put the eight in there. That was probably a mistake on my part. But uh, the five majestic drama is my top pick. I think that this is a really solid horse for, again, David Fox. 22.50 for me. And uh, this second race here, we've got two-year-olds. Yeah. Uh, these are state breads this time and first finish line. First finish line, that's important. Yep. Uh, it almost worked yesterday. Uh, it's. I'm going to be kind of leaning on your opinion when you see these horses up front and center because yep. at least on paper there's not a lot to go on um but shards has got to be okay right you've talked a lot about the bucheros and, yes. and i have as well they paid a buck 75 for this horse a couple months ago kelsey danner doesn't win with first time starters i got a feeling this horse is a little more forward than maybe her normal yeah she's got to be and uh, she was the most expensive uh, buchero purchase and she was actually a, a private sale so uh, she didn't sell in the ring she sold after okay. for 175 20 and 3 is what she worked at that sale over the tapita surface at the obs uh, march sale so he's quick and yeah. uh, I, I just I love the way he he looks. Uh, I'm sure he's just matured so much since then as well. Four and a half. Uh, it's just so sharp. It's such a short stretch but he's got to leave running. Yeah. And uh, I'm glad you have Catch a Tiger in second because it got a little steam on that horse. Yeah, one more thing about shards, yeah. too. You, you weren't here last summer. The other foal from this dam is my Sassanac, who was okay. Oh, okay, yeah. And she actually broke her maiden in our Desert Vixen last year. So yep. there's no, it's not a big surprise that this horse costs some money, and, you know, we love the job Kelsey does. So, yep. uh, But Catch a Tiger, the rail, we could talk about. I know you have in the past. It's... Not good no. at all. But here's another one now. Matoli that they paid 210 for. Yeah. Unraised Dam, half to a couple horses, Eons and Giant Gizmo. They both earned over a half yeah. a million. First full gelding, gelding. too. Let me ask yeah. you this, because I did a show uh, this morning on the radio, and, and the gentleman was kind of like, oh, my. That's not a good sign, you know. They paid two ten, and all of a sudden you're you're running as a gelding. Is that good? I, good yeah, bad, or I ugly? think it's completely fine okay. because uh, this horse sold as a yearling for two ten. Matoli's as of late, they kind of haven't been going for as much money. This right. was kind of when the iron was striking hot with Matoli uh, as a yearling. I I think it's completely fine, and I prefer it. Okay. Yeah, I want to put too much stock in it. And here's what I said to him, and I we don't know this. It says he was gelded May 16th. I don't believe that for a, a no, millisecond. No. But what I do see on the paper, if you can kind of, you know, handicap what you're seeing on paper, the two works that maybe since the source has been gelded were really good. Yeah, they were. And they it's possible they did it before or during mm -hmm. having him at Palm Meadows. That's something we could find out from Nick Tomlinson, his assistant there. But I think this is, I like the connections here. I know they like them as well. Uh, I love the name, though. Edie, meeny, miny. Oh, the dam, yeah. Yeah. Catch a tiger. Do you get it? No, no, you say, yeah, that's not bad. Yep. Pretty You're good. all about that. <laughs> Race number three here. It's a claiming $6,250 level for three-year-olds and upwards. Six furlongs on our fast main track here and both on Earth. Tell me about Tell Earth. me about them. Earth. Earth. Um, <laughs> Earth was good last time. He yeah. was with his friends last time. Um, I don't think Earth's going to have a lot of friends after this race because no. he, he might beat up on this group. I just Other than Pure Spite, who's got to run second. Or these are the two. Yep. If it's somebody else, I'll, I'll be out. I'll be shocked. Um, I played a big ticket, so I'm going to use them both because yep. I'm hoping for value uh, earlier in the sequence. So I'm not going to let one horse beat me when it's only the other horse that can win. The gap behind Earth and Pure Spite is a big one. It is. I think, I think you've got it covered these are the only two horses to me really yeah. in the race here so I, I, i'll say small reason we like to rebel day here comes bullet yeah, race yeah, we but do. he's slow and yeah and the cutback i just don't think this is a horse that wants to go this distance no. it's just not not quick enough for me not that this no. is a very fast race but still uh, not quick enough to get it done race number four it's our first feature race of the day we've got two three-year-old stake races this one's for the phillies the next one's for the colts in race number 10 a mile and the 16th on the tapita the martha washington and we've got a replay here that a couple of these Phillies are coming out of. It's Honor Delady and Ocean Club. Yeah, not really much going on no. here, but these are the two in here. Now, this is on turf, but both of these horses, and we'll talk about this in a second, 
big time to Pete form. Here's my thing. Okay, Honor DeLady is my best bet of the day. If Ocean Club couldn't beat her last time because Honor DeLady hadn't run since November, I just don't see her beating her today. With Honor DeLady's got this race behind her, and she yeah. beat her on the square. Ocean Club tripped out beautifully at 8-5, to five, and here's Honor DeLady with pulling away late, and, and, and I'll argue with you that She's probably or maybe better on Tapita anyway. Uh, yeah, I think so, too. I mean, look, she ran third in the grade three at, at Woodbine. Woodbine. Yeah, so this is a, a horse that's uh, – she's she's a nice filly. I wouldn't trust Ocean Club at a short price at all. But the eight, Starship Aurora, this filly has just been phenomenal since she got she's to the Tapita. Good. And I think she's drawn perfect for this. She is. Uh, this is the acid test, though. It was a beating up on Florida Breads last time. Yeah. is not going to scare – Honor D Lady or, or Ocean Club for that yeah. matter. Um, she keeps Miguel Vasquez, who did ride Honor D Lady last time. I don't really make anything of it, but it's you know it's there to be to be mentioned. Uh, Steve Dwaskin, who's better than Steve? Right. And for for your sake, you're going to get a good price. I'll give you that. You think so? Yeah, she's got it. Honor D Lady's going to be seven to five. Yeah. She's not going to be anywhere near five to two. Mm -hmm. Ocean Club, they'll bet. You're you're, you're going to be 9-2. to two. Oh, well, You should be. I'll take you're that. You're 9-2? Yeah, two? I will take that for sure because I think that this is a Philly. This is one that it kind of almost doesn't matter to me that she ran against state breads at this level because a lot of these Phillies in this race have only just broken their maiden. Or they broke their maiden, tried something else for yeah. the next time, and it just wasn't flat. It'll be a really good race. It wouldn't, actually, anybody wouldn't surprise me out of this race. No typey for you? No, but typey's the type of horse that could win this. That she was good artifact. last time. Yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah, she won by two and a half lengths, and those were some tougher horses as well. Yeah. I, w I do want to note that Artifact is the only one who's faced older horses. Okay. Which and she beat him. Actually beat him twice. Yeah. So, that, that if you hold much stock into that, I don't know. It's uh, very interesting. It'll be a really nice feature, uh, co-feature today. And uh, we're going to move along to race number five. Not a lot of scratches on the card today, which was a, a good thing, um, I think, for, for all of us. But in race number five, Jacob's Flatter, the five, is out of this spot. And the five for you, Majestic Drama. I like it. Uh, you, you found a stat. On Mr. Fox. And yeah. I yeah. mean, Dave's just prolific second-time starters. He's okay with firsters, but second time really amps it up. And how about this? Let's take it a little step further here. Dirt sprints right here the past five years. He's 31%. The ROI is huge. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't know if Majestic Drama can run. Let's just be honest. Yeah. Uh, but if nothing else, you know, two turns on the Tapita on debut. It's that's tough. not an easy jam. No, not at all. Now we got the foundation. He's seven on the main tricky distance take a shot here he's gonna yeah. be a good price yeah he, he will what about uh chief rocket you've got him a little bit lower i love the fact this horse is getting back to the main track yeah that, that's that's fine uh, he <laughs> you know, you're in, not sold on it he's 0 for 9 he, blinkers go on now uh we like bobby hess but the we barn do. struggled a little bit yeah um we'll, we'll see we've got luca panici He's yeah, he face. kept his speed. I'll say that. that He's kept see, his and speed. that's so key in a race like this because you, you want to have – because these aren't horses that are going to really no. come flying at the end. Uh, travel Guide, 0 for 15. This is the type of horse – no, actually the 4, 0 for 21, heavyweight. Yeah, well, we've seen it now about three weeks in a row exactly. where these lifetime maidens have been popping. They're just coming but. into form. Yeah, it's quite interesting <laughs> in these Tampa shippers. This this horse wouldn't surprise me. He probably just put the four heavyweight right into the winner's circle. Race number six, it's a claiming $8,000 event, a mile in 70 yards on the Tapita track here. Now, these are for Phillies, uh, three years old or four and up that have never won two races. And uh, the number one, Armonia, uh, Take it away with this one because I didn't see it at all. Well, this is the race two back. Yeah. You didn't see the Tapita race where she, her only start on it. She blasted this field from the parking lot. Too. There's not much going on here. It's a good effort, though. Yeah, it was. By her. She's the 11. She's going to come into your picture uh, in a little bit. And she's spotting a lot of these horses. And she's going to end up just blitzing by them to the outside. And I thought it was a pretty strong effort. She gets floated here. Um, you know, I didn't have like a big note on this. Kill mm -hmm. County Benny's not much, and she did come back to win. You That's gotta, true. You give her that. And this horse going to level off a little bit and and uh, run on pretty nicely here. And this goes back to what we talked about earlier. Um, Bella Mura is 2-1 to one on the morning line. I, I get it. She should be. 
Yeah. Oh, well, she's not scaring anybody in here. No, and I'm kind of worried about Bella Mira's kind of gate antics as of late, too. She's been acting a bit sour with that. I guess it's the rail for me with Armonia that yeah. worries me a little bit. But you have Lena Reyes, which I think it's significant to know. Who was aboard that race, too. Exactly, yeah. So that's that, that's a good indication. It's a race that you could go a lot of different ways. Uh, the number five we both have in common here. Uh one track mine. I mean, this is a pretty big drop for this filly. Yeah, I, you know, again, this is another one of those horses. Where's your format right now? But the drop, I mean, it's got to play for her. Yeah. She was in for 35 the only other time she was on the Tapita. So, uh, boy, this is a we are dropping. Maybe it, is, it wakes yeah. her up. She didn't run terribly too bad. Kathleen O'Connell, a couple wins last yep. week, long overdue. Is that is black black ice? You didn't have her higher? <laughs> no, did you? You didn't. Know, you, you didn't either. I didn't have her at all. No, I'm I'm Black Ice. She's uh she's our friend here, just breaking her maiden. She was uh over eleven and don't know how she got it done, but maybe she can make it back to back wins with her confidence up. We're gonna it take It has been known to it, happen. It has, yeah. We're gonna take just a short break. When we come back, it will be Rainbow Six Time. My racehorse has opened up a door for people that felt like that door would have never been open for them. We can all be owners and we can all get that excitement. You can meet your horse through the different experiences and all of the events that My Racehorse puts together. You get that hands-on connection. Whether you have $50 or $500, everyone that joins My Racehorse gets that experience of a lifetime. I love My Racehorse. Let's go. We are back here at Gulfstream Park, and uh, race number seven kicks off the Rainbow Six. Uh, somebody hit it on Sunday uh, for uh, some big, big money, Brian. And uh, we've got mm, 17 or 18,000 in the carry over here today. It will continue to grow, though. It's a huge day of racing. It's Belmont Stakes Day. And uh, for race number seven, the Rainbow Six ticket time. Yeah, I didn't hit it. I thought you said he hit it. It was not not me. No, we no. don't know who hit Somebody it. Somebody hit I, it. I, I lost two top picks in this late sequence, so this is muddled a little bit, okay? In race number eight, Sponger always was on top. In race number nine, scratch into Sadie Bear. She's got to be tough off the break now. Uh, the ticking. I, I'm going to come back to ticking. We'll talk about that in a second and the other stakes today. The not surprising. Seven, Dancing Doll. And here's the single now with little Juanito out. Big and classy. Ooh, was going to yeah. be tough anyway. Big and classy is Heck to pay. <laughs> Race number seven now. This is uh, Phillies, made in special weight, five furlongs on the Tapita. We have Turf Rocket in Viesta out. And uh, this is a, a solid, solid field yeah. here. Uh, the one, Sugar Treat, you're casting on the rail today. Well, I scratch into him. Okay. Okay, I had Turf Rocket yeah. on top. Um we got to watch the tote here. That's a good thing of kicking the rainbow off here. Uh, this horse is a half to absolute grit. We know that one down Rohan here. Greitin, Rohan yeah. did win on debut. Yep. Uh, they paid a lot of money for this horse. You'd like to think this horse can run a little bit for really good connections. Uh, yeah. Gary Barber and DJ, better break running from the rail, though. Yeah, the 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 sale work was 21 and 2 for the quarter. That's not mm -hmm. mm, the fastest. Uh, I don't think she's the quickest, uh, but... I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. Now, the seven queen, Berkeley, Bob Hess, uh, this is a constitution filly. She's, so she has been working with Gooch Go Bra. Okay. And Gooch Go Bra is a big horse, but, but I, I, I'll i have to show it to you. The, they are, this is, looks like a pony compared to Gooch Go Bra. He's a long distance turf horse. Exactly. So, yeah. And she worked so well with him, too. She did not let him get away. And I, I just, I love to see these kind of matchups here when she's holding her own. Gooch Go Bra has won multiple races. Yeah. Uh, and she's fit enough. I, I don't know. This might be a sleeper here. I'm, okay. I'm excited to see 
this one. I, I don't think this filly will take a lot of money, but I'm not worried because I'm, I'm pretty sure in these two-year-old races, a lot of us are in the same boat. We don't really know where to go. No. So and that, I, I'm fine with the tote board like yeah, that. Yeah, and that line that, that line forms behind me. Escape room on the outside, Jose D'Angelo. Yeah. He's got a couple in here. I mean, hire me a Lance here. I, I, I don't know. I mean... The post is not ideal, but this horse did work really, really well last time. Yeah, they did. Race number eight, it kicks off the late pick five on this Belmont Stakes Day card. Five furlongs on the Tapita track. I've got a ticket put together for us here. Uh, $48 the play. We're going to get to this race in just a second. Race nine, uh, the three is my top pick. That is Sadie Bear off of a layoff. At race 10, it is our male division of the co-stake races we have here today. The Two, Armstrong is my top pick, and that is Armstrong, not Armstrong. Race 11, the two Island Magic uh, and Runaway Breeze. This looks like a matchup race again to me. I think they'll be very interesting. And in the finale, I think it could be a lot of different ways. Rock and Roller is who I ended with on top. $48 for me, and uh, this race eight, Brian. <sighs> I didn't have the strongest no. opinion in this one. I think you could have gone a lot of different. Oh, well, we both ended up on Spung Sponger. Well, yeah, I mean, Sponger's two, twofold. She'll be in front. Yeah. That's really good. Five furlongs on the tapita. The second, that, she was facing winners last time. She was. And she ran very, very yeah. well. Um, I, I think she's the speed of the speed yeah. in here. And I mean, you, you said it. I mean, blinkers go off to six. Take note of that. Yes. Um, just let's pop this, pop this group right to the hoop. Yeah, and, and Noble Dreamer was a reclaim. I like that. Yeah, it's it's great uh, indication for Jose D'Angelo mm -hmm. uh, to, to jump back in for this race. And uh, the one will be tough Wildcat star as well. I think just a little bit. This is a big drop in class, and Lionel Ray is Lance here. Stays yeah. here, actually. Stays. The rail just worried me a little. And did she do any running last That's time? That's true. Yeah, well, we'll kind of have to wait and see the, the board, actually, for this race. Race nine, uh, Phillies and Mares three and up. Six furlongs is the distance on our fast main track here. Uh, Sadie Bear off the layoff here. I, I mean, this is no, none of the first time starters scare me in this race, no. really. Yeah. I, I scratch into her. We're okay. going to see burn away tomorrow, I, I, yep. I expect. Uh, yeah, if Sadie Bear runs at race, they won't win. Now it is off the long layoff, but he, he, here's the thing with me with Sadie Bear, too. She's worked very well. Yes. <laughs> you know, we haven't seen her in a while. No. My, my thought process is we've got her ready to run. Mm -hmm. Well, let's win today. You would think. It's, it's easier to bring a horse back the second time around than kind of getting them fit the very yeah. first time. So I think she's kind of sitting in a cozy spot. And Captured Dove, I, this is a really interesting horse that actually was with the Mammoth String last year okay. training um, and then went to the bench and now is back. So read what you will yeah. on the Mammoth String horses. That's usually Todd C String. Uh, but Money's Gold came out of Mammoth, so I'm, I'm not going to knock that string too much at all. Uh, but this is this is, will be a, an interesting horse. You know, Peter Lawson, homebred. We like Peter. He wins a lot of races yep. down here. Uh, championship owner uh, a little bit ago. Uh, Dam took two starts at Breaker Maiden. She won over 300. Yep. Other than Sadie Bear, you know, the other fall out of this dam was the only one had run. Three, third fall, not much, but... Uh, th this horse is, is not going to have to run an 87 to win this no, race. Or anything no, like not at all. She just has tote to be board race. fit. Yeah, exactly. On these older maidens, it's a little easier to tab the tote board. Race number 10, it is the not surprising stakes. A mile on the 16th on the Tapita track. Now this is for three-year-olds. Uh, the, they're just colts and geldings in this race, so I can say it is for the boys. But if a woman did want to join, she could have. Uh, the four for you, ticking. I... Uh, you know I'm completely against this horse, so go ahead and convince me otherwise. Well, what's he doing in here? We wondered what the heck he was doing in the race last time. It's true. And for, we're still wondering why he wasn't loose on the lead. Yeah. He will be loose on the lead here. Yeah. And I have a lot of respect and trust in the job Eddie Plisa Jr. That's does. True. Yeah. The fact that Tip Ticking is going to be behind us in a little bit this afternoon says he thinks he can handle this. Yeah. Come catch him. I'll take a deep breath, and hopefully in a minute and 41 seconds, he's still there because he's going to be loose. He yeah. is going today. He is, yeah. <laughs> 
Exactly, we'll yeah. And he's drawn better. Last time we had the rail, that, that was a, a bit tough for him, but I don't think he liked the turf. I, I don't know. I'm, don't, I'm not convinced to like the Tapita, but uh, we're always uh, we're more wrong than we are right in this uh, game. The two Armstrong for me, I, I thought it was just such an impressive victory. And yeah, I know the speed figures aren't that great, but I think he can move forward. Yeah, and we're not sure about the speed figures. It, Exactly. On Tapita. Yeah. And yep. this horse ran off the screen last time. Yep. It was his first start on Tapita. Not the, not the saltiest group here and a lot of turf horses here yep. as well. We don't have to worry about that with Armstrong. No, and Lights of Broadway. This is a smart claim by Pete Walder. Get this horse right back into restricted three-year-old racing, a uh, stake race. Two for three on the Tapita. I mean, this horse... Uh, won a stake race last fall here on the Tapita. Yeah, Pete's coming up on a 1,000 career wins, and, yeah. and one of the reasons why he's going to get it sooner and later is because of moves Stuff like, like this. Stuff like this. Yeah. Exactly. Sharp guy. Very sharp. It'll be a fun race to watch. Race 11, uh, late double time, five and a half furlongs on the Tapita track here, and uh, a full field of nine for this race. You go to the seven, Dancing Doll, Xavo Delgado, a Kentucky Derby winning trainer yeah. uh, on the class drop. Yeah, that's it. Uh, on the drop. I mean, yep. the, the horse has still been running okay, and now we're dropping. I think she catches a group that, you know, in theory she's supposed to handle. Yep. Claimed her for 16, so he's not giving her away. You know, it's not a huge plummet. She did run second as well. I, I, I don't know. Tough group to trust, too. It is. Uh, the two island magic uh, maybe will be all dressed up. A little bit. Yeah, I can't I, guess right with this horse. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I think she could get the best of Runaway Breeze today, but they're not drawn ideally for this. No. a lot it, of speed in here. That's why is. my picks and probably Samantha's as well look like this. This could fall apart late. Yeah, it, it could, and the the weather with it getting hotter too. Sometimes it will slow the Tapita track down. Yep. So we'll just have to wait and see on that. Our finale on this Belmont Stakes Day. It's five and a half furlongs on the Tapita. Allowance optional claimers, and we scratch the three and the five out of this spot, our friend Little Juanito. And the eight for you, big and classy. Five wins in a row. Yeah. Amazing. Just humming along for uh, Bobby D. And I know the last two were on dirt. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got no problem with the Tapita nope. either. And the scratch is a seismic one because Little Juanito can run, and he would have made big and classy earn it. Yeah. And big and classy to me is, is even money now. Yeah. It, he, he's got to be uh, the 10 point Liam. You don't have it all, but I think this horse is interesting for Terry Pompey uh, that Edwin Gonzalez jumps aboard and is, is yeah. drawn quite well. And uh, we've got a new shooter of the nine, Zarok from Chile. First rock time Lasix. I, I went rock and roller. Yeah, I think that this horse uh, can sit a nice little stalking mm -hmm. trip. Edgar Zai is aboard. Three wins for him. Yeah. Yesterday, back and rolling. Good to see it. Okay, back and rocking and rolling. There we go. I think uh, I think this horse has a good shot. It may be a little bit of a price here in the finale. Uh, that's our 12 race card. We've got our world famous lightning round up next, and uh, some fun things going around going around uh, all over the country today. Yeah. And uh, but first things first on Express Bet. You bet with Express Bet on the Belmont, and you can get uh, money back. Yeah, if you run second or third, you get your money back. Yeah. So what 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 uh, better promo is there than that? And you know that's a great promo to take a shot at a price it too. Is. You know, yeah. if you can run second or third, hey, you get your money back and you fire again. Yeah, you do. Uh, your best bet today. Yeah, my best bet is uh, in the first stakes in the nice. uh, Martha Washington. That is uh, the Honor four the horse lady. honoredy lady. Nice. Yeah. Uh, mine is shards. Uh, it's a bit of a bold one kind of going into okay. that. But, uh, yeah, shards in your long shot. Uh, long shots in 25 minutes. Yeah, uh, Lang Lang. Lang Lang. And I've got uh, Exagerador of dueling long shots. All right. Oh, in the first race. Yeah, okay. there we go. Uh, today, again, it's Belmont Stakes Day. It's uh, the final jewel, the test of champions here. It's uh, it's a tough race, Brian. It is a tough race. Uh, we 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 did the the video yesterday. It's out there on uh, Twitter and all that good stuff. Social media, Angel of Empire for me, not a strong opinion whatsoever. It's a spread race. Yep, it is. Uh, I had to have it twice on top. The more I look at it, the more I kind of like National Treasure. It's uh, anyone's game, but of course, uh, four races, four horses from this race yeah. uh, coming from. Our championship meet, the paddock yep. right behind us. So Forte and uh, the Curl, Curl in Florida Derby winner, of yeah. course, and uh, Il Maricolo. He'll get his name. He'll get his name uh, 
Tom Durkin will say his name a lot today. Yes, he will. It'll be a little, some, a little bit. Yeah, first quarter, maybe we'll see those, uh, maybe some quick fractions there for him, or maybe nobody goes with him. It'll be fun to watch a little bit later in the day. And uh, on our card, we've got two very nice three-year-old stake races on deck. And then tomorrow, we have Florida breads. Uh, yeah, maybe we get to see Beth Stream tomorrow. Still to be determined. Yeah. She scratched out of the race. I think it was last week. The yeah. ginger, br ginger Punch are going to go long on Tapita, and she is a very, very fast and good horse. You saw her last summer, right, at Mammoth? Yep, right? yep. She good. was there at Mammoth last summer. Uh, a great day for racing. So happy for you guys to join us here, whether you're watching online or uh, in Las Vegas, or you're here with us at Gulfstream Park. We're happy to have you aboard. Brian and I will be back with you throughout the rest of the day. We're going to send it on up to Pete Aiello with the track conditions and the changes on the card. Good luck today.